India, a land of cultural diversity and rich traditions is developing rapidly. Cities are expanding while agricultural area is shrinking. Now, there is a greater challenge to feed more than 1.3 billion Indian citizens by 2020. Earlier, it seemed difficult, but soon this could be possible through the Indo-Dutch Association in the field of agriculture and horticulture. The Netherlands, a small country that thinks big, has proved its worth in the field of agriculture. The Netherlands is the second largest exporter of agri-food products in the world. The Netherlands trade every year for approximately 115 billion euro of agriculture products. 70% of all table grapes exported to Europe are traded by Dutch traders. 98% of all modern onions produced in India are produced out of Dutch seeds. The Netherlands is the world's largest exporter of seeds. The export of seeds amounted to 1.5 billion euros, growing 5% each year. The Netherlands is the world's top producer of eggs, with 9.8 billion units being exported worldwide. The Netherlands is the largest trader of animal feed, additives and vitamins in the world, with a 50% market share. Dairy sector have a turnover of some 10 billion euros, two-thirds of which are exported. The Netherlands is now all set to introduce its innovations and technology in India. Indo-Dutch collaboration is going to open new doors to revolutionize the Indian agro-food sector through centers of excellence. Both countries have an enormous uh, potential for learning from each other. I think from the Indian side it will be very much interested to learn from our latest innovations, both in the private sector as well as in, uh, in our Wageningen University and at the same time we can learn from the circumstance of production in India and their technology. Companies in the Netherlands and India will work together with the support of central governments and of the governments of the state in India and like that there will be transfer of know-how, transfer of technology. The Dutch colleagues could, they are very good in floriculture, many aspects of horticulture, dairy industry post-harvest processing and value addition, food safety and quality assurance. So these are the areas where we think uh, uh, we could uh, bring in value uh, to achieve that kind of, not exactly doubling food production, but to bring in value for the food that we have. And that will be immediately a way forward. And one similarity between India and the Netherlands is that both countries depend on the agricultural sector. This has led to a growth in our bilateral economic relations which will be strengthened in the coming years. NAFTC India is the governmental partner in this association. The ambitious objective is to double the production in the next five years by transferring latest technology and innovation in areas like green genetics, floriculture, agriculture, horticulture, food processing, animal husbandry and dairy. The idea is that we have centers of excellence, uh, that we create centers of excellence in various states in India. Each center of excellence will uh, uh, become a, a nucleus from where uh, uh, the farmers uh, in that particular state uh, or perhaps even neighboring states will be able to uh, not only get the best quality planting material but will also act as a center where training will take place particularly in the context of the recent National Food Security Act that we have in this country. So it would be demanding on the agricultural researchers and agriculture producers, that the farmers, uh, researchers and farmers including, to continuously innovate, continuously enable, continuously enhance productivity levels and achieve higher production with profits. I'm impressed that the focus of Indian government policy is that small farmers should be able to contribute to the ambitious to increase the food production in India and generate an income for them and their families. Indian and Dutch government have come up together to set up 10 centers of excellence throughout India in five states in its first phase. Kerala, also known as God's own country, is a land of eternal beauty. The state has initiated to benefit from the Indo-Dutch collaboration. 
the country's first center of excellence, is all set to be established at Samethi in Trivandrum under the government of Kerala. We are not only looking at the production side, but also at the training side and at uh, education in order to, to train the people to work in new circumstances with new technology. High-tech farming as well as uh, production strategy, various uh, input management system, post-harvest handling of producers, uh, then uh, cold chain management, then at the last value addition. So all these components we are eagerly looking at the uh, Dutch government for supporting us in the form of uh, Centre of Excellence in the state. We want people to come learn and do, replicate. So we have to think about methods and systems to ensure that at least 50% of what we teach is practiced in the field. The output of India is huge, quality-wise and quantity-wise. Conserving this quality has been a challenge in India by lack of proper coal chain. On an average in Indian situation, Around 30-35% of our uh, producers, especially fruits and vegetables, are lost under uh, I mean, improper uh, and uh, poor uh, post harvest handling. By food processing, the shelf life of food can be extended, which will in the end also contribute to the demand which is rising today in India. By Indo-Dutch collaborations, we can enhance the percentage of processed food of our Indian diet, which will not only add to the nutritional value of the agri product, but also provide good market, good price, and overall the reduction in the harvest and post-harvest loss. Animal husbandry is one of the major areas of cooperation. Indian livestock farms have some of the best breeds of cows. The Indo-Dutch project has much to offer in terms of feeding, heeding and breeding. The aim is to intensify the production of the Indian dairy sector. For example, in dairy, we try to set up a center of excellence on dairy in various states like Kerala, Punjab and Gujarat. We focus mainly on genetics, on feed, and on animal health. By working on these three issues, in the end the cow will give better milk quantity-wise and quality-wise. This of course can again be processed, can be turned over to better products like milk, ghee, cheese, Dutch cheese. I'm sure all of us are uh, excited about the new possibilities. Challenges, yes, but opportunities galore. And we would like to join hands in greater measures to see that we not only we win, at the end of the day, the farmers win, the people win. Sustainability is very important for us. Uh, we are here not for the short term. We hope to establish centers of excellence that uh, will uh, last for a very long time. We need to, to, to play an important role in the, in the world horticulture scenario, in the world dairying scenario. Then we do need technology. And uh, if technology is available to us from, from friends in Holland, I mean, why not? I hope that the centers of excellence in the end will create an Indo-Dutch masala of expertise, know-how and knowledge, uh, which will be beneficial for both India as well as the Indian of the Dutch sector.